Grand Slam continues. We move on to our third of four world championship fights. Terry Norris versus Maurice Blocker for the WBC Super Welterweight title. Back with the fight, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco. And Ferdy, is Norris potentially the best fighter pound for pound? No, I think he's the second best fighter pound for pound. That's what we're going to figure out in the coming months. I think he's right up there nestling under uh, Julio Cesar Chavez. I don't think he's there yet. He would have to beat Julio Cesar Chavez for anybody to consider him the top pound for pound. But, hey, that's not a bad position to be right under the great Chavez. Tonight, he's got to prove conclusively that this type of opposition, he should be able to walk through and finish beat. Is Blocker different from Norris's past welterweight opponents? He's better than just about anybody. I, the reason I say anybody he did fight Sugar Ray Leonard, but at the end of his career, I, I, I throw that out. Sugar Ray Leonard was an exceptionally wonderful uh, boxer. But Blocker is the best boxer going today. If he can stick to boxing, if he can keep him off, he, Blocker's got a great chance tonight, great chance for an upset. But when chips were down, Simon Brown walked right through him. And if Simon Brown walked right through him, believe me, this guy is twice the fighter the Simon Brown as far as power is concerned and he's a killer he go right through you and right into the attack so that's what we're going to see can blocker avoid this terrific rush that Terry uh, Norris gives if he can interesting fight again all right the fighters are in the ring let's take a look first at the challenger Maurice the thin man blocker stepping up in weight tonight his first fight is a super welterweight what a way to start against Terry Norris for the title blocker the current IBF welterweight champ and former WBC welterweight weight title holder a native of Washington DC blocker 34 and 2 18 knockouts his only losses to Lloyd Hunnigan and his good buddy Simon Brown and the champion terrible Terry Norris born in Lubbock Texas 33 and 3 with 19 knockouts his only defeats to Derek Kelly in 87 a disqualification to Joe Walker later that same year a knockout at the hands of Julian Jackson in 89 making his eighth defense of the title his last one a fourth round TKO of Meldrick Taylor in May of 92 and in his last fight a non-title affair he stopped Pat Lawler in the third on December the 13th Norris captured the belt back in March of 90 with a first round knockout of John the Beast Mugabe one of the most vicious fighters in the sport and a man who gave up a promising career in baseball to be a boxer, although he told me he hasn't totally given up on the notion. To the tail of the tape. At the 25, Norris is four years younger than Blocker. Blocker around two inches taller. Norris... 151, Blocker 150, and the reach advantage to Blocker by just over six inches. And the WBC rules now, 10-point must system, three scoring judges, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule, only the referee can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. So here at Azteca Stadium in Mexico City, it's almost time for the WBC Super Welterweight Championship. Back we go to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Damas y caballeros, esta es la tercera atracción especial del póker de ases de 12 rounds por el título peso Super Welter del Consejo Mundial de Boxeo. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the third World Championship main event in this Grand Slam of Boxing, the WBC Super Welterweight Championship scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council. El Presidente, the President of the WBC in attendance, Jose Sulaiman. Supervisor, Eduardo Lamazon. Presentando a los jueces. Introducing the judges at ringside. Victor Cervantes, Tommy Kazmarek, and Chuck Williams. Introducing the referee in charge of this bout, and referee Richard Steele. Bien amigos, presentando en la esquina roja. Introducing in the red corner, wearing white trunks, the Washington DC and Los Estados Unidos. Pesando 68 kilos, weighing in at 150 pounds, con un record de 34 victorias, dos derrotas y 18 victorias por knockout. With a record of 34 wins, two losses, he has 18 wins by way of knockout. Please welcome the current IBF welterweight champion tonight, challenging for the WBC Super Welterweight title, presentando al retador Maurice, the thin man blocker. Sur. 
presenting his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, entering the ring wearing white trunks with red trim. Y representando First Fighter Squadron in Campo, California, en los Estados Unidos. Con un peso de 68.5 kilos, he weighed in at 151 pounds. Con un record de 33 victorias, 3 derrotas y 19 victorias por knockout. With a record of 33 wins and 3 losses, he has 19 wins by way of knockout. Welcome, the WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, one of the young superstars of boxing. Today, demos la bienvenida al campeón terrible, Terry Norris. Aquí está el referee Richard Steele. Okay, I gave both fighters the instructions in the dressing room. I'm cautious again. Obey my commands at all times. I don't want no rough pushing. No, I just want clean boxing, okay? Is there any question? Shake hands, good luck. Hundred thirty thousand strong. Azteca Stadium, Mexico City. Terry Norris, who told us the other day, I'm in the best shape of my life. In fact, I feel better than I did when he fought Sugar Ray Leonard. That does not bode well for this man, the challenger, Maurice, the thin man blocker. And he's well named, the thin man. He looks like a spear. Boy, is that guy tall and thin. And what, bear in mind, he is a wonderful boxer. If he uses motion, if he uses his jab, if he doesn't let Terry Norris walk right through him like Simon Brown did. Now, Terry Norris is one of these guys that likes to get out of here early. He doesn't stick, stick around for uh, uh, the results later on. He wants to get out now. He's heading up for one of the biggest fights in his career if they can make him and Chavez. But first, he's got to get past Blocker. Blocker told us Norris is a young fighter with lots of publicity who is headstrong. And he said, I will tame him and put him in his place. The first few rounds, he'll use his strength. That's the key to take his strength away. This is Blocker telling us this. How do you do that, I asked him. He said, by moving around, by trying to keep Norris honest. Well, he's not moving around, and uh, no, he's not. Terry is honest. He's coming right straight forward and battering him. There's another good shot as uh, as uh, Norris came over. Blocker was trying to hold on as best he can, but gets hit. I mean, you no, see, Norris is truly a great fighter. He, he is like Chavez. He takes advantage of every little corner, every little opening he hits you with. If you leave a window open, a shade, you get hit. Norris, a well-disciplined fighter who combines power and speed, told us that since Blocker doesn't move a lot, I'll hit him with a lot of body shots and wear him down. I should be able to walk through him, but I'm prepared, he said, to go 12 hard physical rounds. Norris said to us, Blocker was able to catch Simon Brown with a lot of punches. I don't plan on getting hit off, and Blocker lost his WBC weatherweight crown to Brown via a 10th round knockout. Incidentally, Blocker's IBF weatherweight crown not at stake. He is getting hammered right now. Blocker is getting hammered. The uh, building blocks for a knockout are being built right now. Norris is wasting no time. They're short. They're businesslike. They're right on the money. And right now, there's a, a very apprehensive look on the face of Blocker, who's tasted that real power. Of, look at that. Whoa. Whoa, what a thump as Blocker hits the canvas. Four. That's what he was doing. And that's the look he had. Uh-oh, uh -oh, I'm going to get hit. Give me a glow. Give me a glow. Richard Steele going to have to, a job on his hands because Norris is a finisher. Norris trying to polish Blocker off for the final 40 seconds of the first round. Good left hand by Norris above us. Blocker doesn't even know where he's at. Blocker just standing erect by a miracle of uh, boxing because he, does, he can't even focus his eyes right. And now Norris unleashing a barrage. A big right by Terry Norris. Can Blocker survive? 15 seconds to go. He's in all kinds of trouble. He's just trying to stay up. Oh, down he goes again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You okay? 
and he's up before the bell. And that's the worst piece of news he ever had. Look at him stumbling around. Steele has got to have a little business meeting in the corner. Steele's got to think about this because they, they just folded him into that chair. Look at the complete exhaustion and knocked out of it. Look, look at Blocker. He's knocked out. Hold on. Richard Steele trying to do his job to the best of his ability, but we all know the history of Richard Steele. Let's take a look at that perfect punch. We, we saw it coming there. Look, look at that. That's the first knockdown. That's where you call, you disconnect all systems, and you go down. And the second is now coming up. The second was a right hand, but you see, Blocker is just about out. He, he looks to see where the ropes are, but he knows that he's going to get terrible punishment. You know, he could have stopped it right along about here, really. And I, mean, I don't think anybody would question the judgment of Richard Steele in this case if see, he did stop it. He not only fell, but his head bounced off there. I mean, you know, you really got to think, do, do you really need this? And, of course, it's boxing. It is a championship. The bell did save him, so now he comes out for more. And just as we said at the top of the show, Terry Norris walked right through him. And this looks like it's just a matter of time. Another thundering left hand by Norris. Low blow by Blocker, who Blocker. is desperate. Blocker has nothing on his punch. Terry Norris right now could say hit me with everything. Oh, what a big left and a right by Great Norris, Bertie. Norris is a wonderful puncher. This, this guy has really got aim. He's like Chavez. Oh, 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 oh. Look out, no fouling, says Richard Steele. He was holding on to Blocker. He doesn't need to do that. No. You know, his blood is up. He wants to knock out. He wants to get out of here. He wants to impress the Mexican crowd. He wants to tell the world, I'm Watch here. Your hand. And he wants to tell Mexico he's ready for Chavez. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Boom! Oh, Stop him right there. That's right, Richard Steele. That's right. Good decision by Richard Steele. It was the only decision to make. No contest. It was the decision to make. There wasn't a judgment call. And the only judgment call was should they have let him come back out to get a little bit of that shot. It's a title fight, and he in, he's entitled to get knocked out if, if that's what you consider an entitlement. Riveting, monstrous, wicked shots from the opening bell by Terry Norris. And now a fight breaking out in the ring. Well, and it's a woman involved, Ferdy. There's a woman in the center of it. And that is... It's from the Maurice Blocker camp. Yeah, they, they got some, some strange people in that camp. And of all people, there's Panama Lewis trying to create a peaceful situation. What's he doing in there? Panama Lewis, who doesn't even belong in there in the first place, but that's another story. Yeah, but right now, it is, they're trying to calm things down. It, it has no place in this ring. It has no place. It's been a clean, honorable fight. That has no place. How can they even question it? Oh, yeah, the only thing to question is why let him come out? Terry Norris, a second round TKO, unofficial time, 49 seconds. And I know so many people would salivate at the prospect of someday soon seeing this man, Terry Norris, do battle with Julio Cesar Chavez. Well, it will never happen in Mexico, but if they had it in Mexico, they would have to add seats to this 130,000 uh, seat arena. They would be hanging from ropes to see that fight. I may be one of them because that is going to be the fight of the year when it happens. He defends his title. Let's take a look at the accurate and pinpoint punching power of Terry Norris. That right there gets your attention. And the idea that he knows exactly where to land the punches and how much strength. Here's the end of the fight where it was really not a hard decision. This is not uh, brain surgery or rocket scientry. Here a guy is getting hammered. His life is in danger. And Richard Steele wisely comes in and puts a quietus to this mess. And there it is. In two seconds, look, look at the way he's caved in. That punch right there could have really hurt him. The one that followed would have been worse. So he did an, an extremely good thing. I commend Richard Steele. He's had his rocky nights in this ring before you and I, but he had a good night tonight. He did the right thing. Terry Norris told us he feels most comfortable at 154. No problem, though, getting to 147 if he had to fight Chavez. Let's get the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Damas y caballeros, tenemos el tiempo. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. 49 segundos 
in round number two, forty-nine seconds. In round number two, the winner by way of knockout technical knockout, el ganador por knockout técnico, el campeón terrible, Terry Norris. There you have it, Terry Norris, now 34 and 3 with 20 knockouts, stopping Maurice, the thin man blocker, here in round number two. A convincing, no nonsense dispatching of the thin man. And hugs all around for the WBC Super Welterweight Champion, Terry Norris, now has won 13 in a row. And the crowd is chatting. Chavez getting ready for the big one. The main event, we're standing by. The fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, is alongside terrible Terry Norris. Here at Azteca Stadium, 130,000 strong. A new record for a paid boxing crowd. Let's go up to the fight doctor with Terry Norris. Did you think that fight needed that second round? You so so completely dominated him in the no, first. No, I, I really didn't think he needed the second round. I hit him. He was he was clearly out of it, but uh, uh, he couldn't stop it because the bell rung and caught him. So, you know, so he made it through the round, but it was really unnecessary. Though. You do agree that that stoppage at the end of the second was absolute at 49 seconds was absolutely correct. Uh, well, first let's stop everything right. First of all, I want to say thanks a lot, Jesus Christ, for helping me through this. You know? Amen. That's my savior. But uh. Yeah, I, th I think uh, when when uh like when, when, uh, I'm talking about Richard when Richard stopped the fight, I think it came at the right time. But uh, he should have came in the first, you know, the first round. I was hitting with some good solid shots. Let's take a look at the monitor uh, as we talk. We're going to try to rack up so you can see the first knockdown, which was such an accurate punch. You tell me what you see here. Uh, really, I'm just uh, just catching, setting him up with everything. Caught him with a good hook. That's my strongest punch. You you agree? You walk through him. Oh, I did. He didn't have he didn't have anything to hold, hold me off. And Second plus he was, down. and plus he was just uh, right here. I'm just setting him up again. Boom! And off the ropes, catch him, and just set him up with good good combinations. You know, I'm trying to take him out of there. He talked a lot of noise. His group was just running him out, and um, I wanted to take him out of there. Now, now we are we offered uh, Chavez ten million dollars to fight me. Now we we'll see who's chicken. That's, he wanted that's, he that's, wanted ten million. Before you leave, blocker, give him the honor of the last little call. Right here, setting him up, trying to finish him off. Little up, little up, cuts, little hooks. Good right hand to finish him. What, what would have happened after that left hand, right hand? I don't even want to think about. It. Oh, it's, I'm glad he stopped it. All right, here's the man that can make things happen. Don King, <laughs> how about it with Don with Chavez? It's if he worked the fight, first of all, I want to congratulate Terry on the fight that he fought. He is terrible, Terry. He was he was just split difference. It was a great show, and I think that me and Tony Cox is making history. This uh, is incredible. Split difference? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I ask you the last question again. <laughs> Chavez and this man, when we're gonna get it? Oh, we're gonna get it. It's right down in the future, in the very near future. We want to see what the next one come out. We wanna we got a fight coming up with Hagen. We want to see how it's gonna happen with Hagen. When we get through with Hagen, ask me the same question again. Well, I will see you back here in about 45 hey, minutes or less. I'm yeah. the best fighter in the world. I'm, so I'm the best fighter in the world. Chavez, pound. pound for pound. Chavez is not. You think you've been hanging around this guy too long? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to fight his guy. Fight him next. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Steven Ringside. All right, Ferdy Norris.